Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Kathleen Reddington with your Asset Management Report. Today is Friday, August 1st, 2008. Capital Z Asset Management has hired James Marone Jr. as a partner and chief marketing officer. Money Management Letter reports that he will report to CEO Christiana Wood in this newly created role. Marone will also be a member of CZM's senior executive team and will be responsible for providing strategic direction for sales, marketing, and product development. He will also support CZAM's sponsored managers in their marketing and new business initiatives. And staying with asset management news, according to IPE.com, the Irish government will examine ethical investments following increased calls for independent scrutiny of the National Pension Reserves Fund's holdings in companies operating in Zimbabwe. Michael Martin, the Minister for Foreign Affairs, told members of Parliament that following concerns about ethical investment, Brian Lenahan, the Minister of Foreign for Finance, had agreed to examine the overall issue. Martin said the finance minister intended to look at international examples of how other countries deal with this issue and report back. Although the foreign affairs minister highlighted that there, were, that there are no proposals on the table at this stage. But following arguments over how much national pension reserve fund money is invested in companies with operations in Zimbabwe, Martin told the committee the government needed to ascertain objectively an accurate figure. And in more asset management news, according to a Reuters poll, July saw investors cutting equity holdings to their lowest in at least four years while increasing bond weightings to a two-year peak. Surveys of 48 leading investment firms in the U.S., continental Europe, Japan, and Britain showed the average equity holding in a mixed portfolio of assets fell to 56.7% in July from 56.9% the previous month. The weighting below the long-term average of just over 60% was the lowest since at least April 2004 when Reuters began combining the results of its four regional polls. Bond holdings rose 33.1 percent above their long-term average and their highest since September 2006 from 32.9 percent in June. And in other asset management news, Asia Pulse is reporting that South Korea's state pension fund lost more than 4 trillion won or nearly 4 billion dollars from stock investments during the first half of this year. According to the, national, the report by the National Assembly Budget Office, the National Pension Service's loss from stock investments was estimated estimated at 4.26 trillion went won during the January-June period. The National Pension Service posted a loss rate of 10.2 percent in that area. The NPS is the nation's largest institutional investor, holding more than 200, 230 trillion won under its management. Of that total, it invests 8.3 percent in stocks and 78.2 percent in bonds. And that rounds out today's asset management report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on to our asset management channel online, read the full stories and the latest developments.